Many of you have probably heard of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, an incredible organization of people that reach out to help the poor around the world. Sister Kara has a little reflection on the founder of that group, Frederick Ozenam, on this, our Random Wednesday here at the God Minute. We're so glad you joined us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your grace. Psalm 104, Great and All-Powerful O Lord, how great and powerful you are, and how beautiful is the world you created for our habitation. Even before Adam was brought forth from the dust, or Eve from Adam's rib, you prepared for them a place in which to live and grow. And everything they saw around them reflected the beauty and power of the living God. There was clean air, pure water from snow-capped mountains, The skies shone with a million lights, and the land brought forth flowers and fruits. And every part of the land, and the waters that covered the earth, and the skies that looked down on the land, were filled with amazing forms of life. The world was vibrant and alive. But it was only upon the heart of human creatures that you imprinted your image. And these creatures, in their short stay on this world, were appointed to be your co-workers. Your creative activity has never ceased. It continues in and through their lives. O Lord, how great and all-powerful you are, and how beautiful is the world you created for our habitation. May we always honor and care for it, and so give you thanks. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. September 9th is the Feast of Blessed Frederick Ozanam, advocate for social justice, before that was really even a thing, and founder of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. For our Random Wednesday reflection today, I wanted to share a little about this holy man, how I came to know him, and why his story is relevant to us, especially young people today. Frederick Ozanam was a young college student in 19th century France, and he felt the burning desire to serve the poor in Paris. However, when he showed up in a neighborhood where he wasn't accustomed to visiting, wearing a top hat and innocent smile, the people didn't trust him, and they actually drove him out of the neighborhood. Frederick was young and willing to serve, but he didn't know what that looked like for him exactly. It's one thing to have the desire to serve, and another to be able to connect with folks and build that sense of trust. Frederick's mentor sent him to Sister Rosalie Rondu, a daughter of charity, to learn how one must serve the poor. Sister Rosalie tells Frederick, All you must do is be kind and love, for love is the first gift to the poor. They will appreciate your kindness and your love more than all else you can bring them. Everything else will follow naturally. It was like Rosalie was telling me, Hey, Kara, you are a young college student like Frederick. You have a desire to serve the poor, but you don't know how. You can love, right? Just love the poor and see what happens. 
So needless to say, from that point on, I joined the Society of St. Vincent de Paul on campus, and I started discerning more seriously with the Daughters of Charity. I saw so many similarities between the challenges in society during Frederick's days and what we face today. A secularized society skeptical of religion. The gap between the rich and the poor is widening. The poor and marginalized are demonized and treated inhumanely. And we live in a world that is so in need of love and understanding to dismantle the hate and division. I invite you to pray with him and ask for his intercession as we respond to the needs and challenges of our own day, challenges that are not so unfamiliar to him and his contemporaries. Frederick tells us our duty as Christians is to throw ourselves between these two camps, between the rich and the poor, in order to accomplish by love what justice alone cannot do. So, let's get to work. And with your brothers and sisters all over the world praying with you, we together lift our voice and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, I already have enough history with you to see that my driest and poorest times have been my richest. I still dread such periods But that is right. But help me not to give up in them or forget that you are working out great things. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. spirit. May the abundance of God's blessing protect you and keep you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you were with us on Tuesday praying, you heard one of our newest members of the team, Anthony Fortunato. Well, tomorrow, you're going to hear the second newest member, a beautiful woman, a daughter of charity. Her name is Sister Carol Schumer, lives here in St. Louis in the United States. We're so blessed to have her with us, as I'm sure you will agree. So can't wait for that. Thanks for being with us today, my friends. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.